Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. Going to do one of the beers that I got from the awesome beer mail. Thank you very much, sir. I want to do the hoppy ones first. So we will do Grunge Double Dry Hop Imperial IPA. It's Imperial, but I think it's only coming in at like 7.7. 7. So, mm, 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 you know what I mean? But there you go. Single Cut Brew. Uh, Single Cut Beer Smiths. I think that's it's the full name. Single Cut Beer Smiths from Astoria, New York, and Clifton Park, New York. So let's check it out. Into my York Holo glass. All right, very very bright color, bright lemon colored. Le lemon yellow color. Lemon, lemon cello. All right. Look at that. Shoink. Just look at, listening to some Morbid Saint. All right. It's got a nose. Cheers. I'm getting like lemon drop. Like lemon drop, piffy grapefruit, lemon, like a lemon drop kind of flavor, aroma, peppery earthiness. And there's sweet breadiness mixed in there too. Let's get into it. Cheers. Ooh, that's sharp. Sharp, piffy, like I said, grapefruit, kind of lemon drop vibe. Lemon, like a lemon drop vibe in there too. Get a little bit like a crisp green leaf in there as well. There's a, a deeper note that kind of hits you a little bit then kind of disappears, like a deep mango or something like that it kind of like it hits deep and it kind of fades away you're like whoa what was that came out of nowhere pop and then kept and then floats away overall not too kind of a lighter beer we love an 1822 Now the beer's had a chance to breathe a little bit. It is bready. Nice brightness to it. A little bit of sweetness. You have a lot of sharp grapefruits wafting through the palate. A little bit of something that reminds me of a crisp green leaf. There was a lemon drop at first. It's starting to die down a little bit as I, go, as I drink it. As I get acclimated to that lemon drop vibe is going on. But a couple times when you sip it, this, this dark... Like a mango or apricot comes out of somewhere and just fades back away under the, like it peaks and then, yeah. But it's not too bad. It's a, it's a little bit on the drier side. It's on the drier side, even though there is a, a, a good amount of breadiness. It's not giving sweetness, if you know what I mean. It's pretty sharp, pretty dry. Definitely drinkable, easy drinking stuff. So grunge, double dry hopped India Pale Ale, Imperial India Pale Ale, not too bad, definitely easy drinking, approachable. It's pretty sharp, but it's not abrasive, it's not hindering the drinking experience. Definitely dries out your palate, go in for more, so definitely Moorish on that side. Pretty damn good, Let's give it an 8 out of 10. Paul Pabrinus. Cheers. Much on bigger. Here it comes. Wow.